Hi everyone, my name is Gemma or Miss Hardy and I wanted to chat to you about the fourth way to well-being, keep learning. When you learn something new, your brain makes new connections, kind of like exercise, but just for your brain. Your brain is so clever and so amazing that it's constantly busy, even while you're asleep. Inside your brain, there are these incredible things called neurons. They're like tiny little wires, and every time you learn something new, one joins to another and it makes a connection. Every time you keep practicing that new skill, the connection gets stronger and stronger, a bit like exercising your muscles. So how do these clever neurons affect my well-being? Well, here's an example. A few years ago, I decided to go back to university to learn something new, a new skill and new information that I'd never learned about before. Can you see that smile on my face? That's not only because I was proud of myself, but other people were proud of me too and told me how great I'd done and that made me feel amazing. I even did a little happy dance. So what sorts of things could you learn? You could maybe learn a new instrument. Perhaps there's one that you've been wanting to play for ages. Learn to tie your shoelaces. This will really build your confidence if you don't know how to already. Teach yourself how to cook your favourite meal or join a sports team and learn a new sport. Most importantly, set a challenge that you will enjoy achieving. One of the hardest things about learning something new is that there'll be times when you won't always get it right and you'll feel like giving up. But please don't do that. It's really important that you keep going because then you'll feel that sense of success when you finally achieve your goal. But in the meantime, how do you trick your brain into thinking that you want to keep going even when really you feel like giving up? Well, the best way to do this is to write some affirmation statements, even just one, and say it to yourself daily, maybe three or four times a day even. And eventually you'll start to believe it and so will your brain. These can be things like, I am good enough. I believe in myself. Here's some examples. A good example of an affirmation statement is so simple. I can do anything. If you say this, you'll start to believe it. And here's my favorite. I am good enough. You could also try and say, I won't give up and I will improve. Think how powerful that is if you say it over and over again. Or you could try and say, I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I'm proud of myself. My confidence grows when I step outside my comfort zone. So, time to get creative. On a piece of paper, I want you to write one affirmation statement that you're going to keep with you and keep saying to yourself to help you achieve your goal, whatever that might be. Good luck and keep learning.